Unboxing! Yee! Hey! What's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another unboxing video. A very big, well, not the biggest, but a pretty big, bad toy store unboxing video. If you are trying to get your action figures, you can do so at Big Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. And I also have a package here that I picked up from Walmart. So uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick announcement really quick. Um, it's that time of year. Every three months, I try to take a little respite from the grind of making the videos on the daily. And not that I get tired of doing it. I get so energized doing it that... Uh, the fatigue catches up on me. So I'll keep going and going forever. And then all of a sudden I just face plant. Like it, that's how that works. So I have to force myself every three months to take a break or else face plant. When you've seen those face plants before or back plants anyway. Anyway, I am cleaning up my collection. If you may or may not notice the NCU shelf is coming along. A little tip for you guys. Just saying, if you have, if you have the No Way Home Matt Murdock figure, and you have Everett Ross. This is the body for Everett Ross. Well, I took the gun and the head and put it on the Daredevil figure, and I think that just looks way better. So he's going to be on the shelf that way. But, man, there's so many supporting characters. I'm, I'm going to have to cut out a bunch of supporting characters because there's only so much room on the shelf over here. So I don't know what I'm going to do. And, yeah, uh, the new Vision's up there. Yep. I don't know what the hell my dumbass was thinking. I don't know. I was trying to be creative or something. I was trying to be different, you know? I'm going to try to get a collection video posted this weekend. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but this right here, I want to open right away. I don't know why I'm so curious about it. I know exactly what it is. I just ordered it. And um, let's go ahead and crack this thing open right here. I, I think you know, what it, you know what it is. I'll tell you right now, it's not a Marvel Legend. Yeah. All right. Cool! Yes, finally. Uh, I'll be able... I bought two of these. I'm going to sell the extra one so I can get free shipping. I ordered two. Uh, so hopefully I get my money back. You know, hopefully I sell it for retail on the next whatnot stream. But what I wanted was the Night Force Tunnel Rat. I have the regular Tunnel Rat. But yeah, I wanted to take a look at this one. And that means I have 107, 108, 109, Wolf Spider, and was it the Cobra stalker or the cobra hunter I, I can't remember the exact name of that particular character but oh my god that figure is so sick i opened it already that figure is so badass that figure is so awesome dude uh i also really like tunnel rat too and i think i'm liking these colors more also i think it's kind of fits the nature of the character right tunnel dark clothes you know anyway so look forward to a review on those three figures in one and then we have the box right over here, which I think has some more G.I. Joes in it because I, I just can't stop with the G.I. Joe classifieds. I'm getting all my Marvel Legends too. Well, as you saw in my top 10 videos, not every single one, but, and same thing with the Joes too. I don't get every single one, but I, I get most of them and I, I just can't help it, man. I'm, yeah, the classified series is just crushing it. And yeah, so finally, I have, ooh, oh yes, oh there's, oh man, I can't believe it, okay, let's, there's a little bit more classified in here than I thought it, that, that I thought I was going to see, all right, this has been out for a while, a lot of people have talked about it, I've seen it on shelves and I've had it in my loot, so I was like, I'll just wait till I get it, and we have Mutt and Junkyard right here, a lot of people have had this. I've seen people post reviews on it, and I'm happy to finally have my own. That looks really good. Uh, went back, had to backtrack a little bit. We got G.I. Joe Low Light right there. Looks pretty cool. And as I said in the Whatnot stream, I picked up the orange jersey version of Bazooka. So I sold the other Bazooka. And yeah, this is cool to... Damn, I didn't realize that the... The RPGs were actually painted differently on the back right there. That's pretty awesome. 6.39 inches tall. And then, yeah, I got my uh, Cobra Copperhead right over here, which I never picked up. I thought I had this, but I did not. So we got Copperhead right there. Number 72 from a while back. A couple of extra Marvel Legends over here. I said I was going to get a second Power Princess, and I got a second Power Princess. I also have a Wonder Woman on the way, so I'm, I'm very stoked about that. But yeah. I want to have a second Power Princess. I may paint her up. Uh, we'll see. But at least I'll have an extra Power Princess to play around with and at least show off with the kids. Uh, this is actually going to uh, my friend's kid. 
So this is a gift. This is something that I bought for my friend's kid. And um, yeah, so a little late Christmas present. And then uh, I had to get the snow serpent over here. And while uh, I still think snow job is probably a cooler figure than this one, but I'm still very excited for this. But who knows? I may change my opinion after I open it. But yeah, uh, love the snow job figure and snow serpent over here looks really badass. Damn. Yeah, this classified line is nuts. What? That's one, two, three, four. Yeah, man, five. Five classified figures in here. And then, oh my God. Oh, geez. Yes, we have Lemmy. They, I, I think this is so cool that they're doing this with certain rock icons. But uh, yeah, Lemmy's like the... Uh, I think Motorhead's that nexus point of metal and punk. Like, I think they're more of a punk band for sure. But like, a lot of a lot of you metalheads love Motorhead. I love Motorhead, dude. Motorhead's freaking amazing. Oh, so sick. Oh, that's a fabric uh, cut off T-shirt. I didn't realize that. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm sorry I had to stare at this for a little while. Of course, he's got to come with his bottle of Jack. That would have been sad if he didn't come with it. I mean, it's technically not. And he's got the Rickenbacker bass. So dope. I mean, dude, so many... I mean, there's so many influences. Like, just ridiculous, like, bottomless pit of influences right over there. Awesome, awesome. All right. I really like this packaging, too. So, Super 7... Ultimates, Lemmy, and finally, fine. Oh, that looks really good. I got the SH Figure Arts Spider Man 2099. Mm hmm. Thumbnail posing, you know it. This looks really good. I can't wait to open it. Yes. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, I wanted to like the, the Marvel Legends version way more, but damn, this looks awesome. Man. All right. So. God, if, I wish I was reviewing this this weekend, but I'll be reviewing it soon enough. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I don't know what the schedule's like. Again, I'm trying to take it easy. Just worry about cleaning up the dork room, shipping out the whatnot packages, and uh, taking care of some other family stuff and, and, and all that. So thanks again, you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more coming to the channel. And really appreciate you guys for making this all happen. It really does mean a lot. I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.